What's going on guys? We're going to do a little branded Chimera deck profile for you today. Um, I would wish I could sit here and say that I took this to locals yesterday and went 5-0 uh, and 1, but I didn't. Um, however, I do think this is the best way to play branded Chimera right now. Um, a lot of people are still putting this deck tier 1.5, even like tier 1. It just ain't guys. It's not, it's not there. Um, personally, I think the pure branded Despia version is much better and just going pure branded um but anyway this is a really fun deck it's fairly cheap um we'll start with the main deck first so we have three kotal one of your best starters and it's also a negate three mirasaur's knight uh probably your second best starter since the new uh the new cards came out in age of overlord this is also treated as a starter most of the time and then you have two burfamet um, he's a brick. I literally had a hand yesterday where I had, I think, two, uh, an unplayable hand. Just an unplayable hand. I had, I think I had two of him and one of the uh, other guys that you don't want to draw. Um, three Chimera Fusion. So that's one of the issues with this deck. Just being completely transparent. It, it's a bricky deck. It just really is. If you don't draw the cards you need, uh, which that's with any deck, but this one just doesn't have enough starters for me, you know. Uh, three cross out that's critical in this deck because one play gets stopped you're you're in a bad spot uh call by basically the same thing just four four ways to get your play through uh two talents i think that came up a good bit yesterday looking at my opponent's hand ripping a card <laughs> what sucks is when your opponent doesn't play hand traps though and then you just waste it um super poly we're leaning heavy on this in this deck build um, this is such a great disruption. Probably the best board breaker that we have right now. Uh, for the branded stuff, Fallen of Albaz. Uh, we got three branded Fusion. One Alubra of Despia. Two branded Opening. Okay, so that's pretty much for your core. Um, and the rest of this stuff, I guess you could mix and match as you please, except for a few of them. Um, three Fenrir. Oh, Finny boy. Um... He's great. I'm actually thinking about putting a Baron in here, uh, in the side deck, possibly. I mean, in the extra deck, because sometimes you'll draw this, and um, I feel like a Baron negate is better than an Ash um, or a Fenrir. So, you know, I, I would make that. You can make that pretty easily if you don't have nothing else in hand. Um, possibly you have a Brand of Fusion. You can get a Dragoon out and a Baron on field. I think that's an interesting thing to play with. Three Imperm. Weird ratios here, two nib, two valor. So two nib, two valor, that's simply for cross out. That's another problem with this deck. It loses to every hand trap. I mean, every hand trap, uh, pretty much, other than, you know, a few here and there. But uh, all the main ones that people are playing, uh, including Droll. Um, I'm also thinking about running one Droll, actually. I may take one of the uh, Imperm out and just throw one Droll in here just just for that safety net because uh droll yeah it hurts it hurts this deck hurts every deck right now okay so that's for the hand traps we have one farfa male branch of the burning abyss i seen a deck profile that added this and i thought that was pretty cool because there's a lot of times that you'll just discard it off super poly you'll uh discard it off of burfamet um or sin rather um pretty cool pretty cool little little card um the light hex sealed fusion i played around with versago because it was a fiend but this is just your better play if you're running dragoon if dragoon's your option if you're not running dragoon the other one's probably your option and then master tau um he's great if you don't draw him he's great he also can be used for fusion fodder but at the same time, that's not the play you want with him. You want to dump him off Burfamet, get a free summon, and then get more plays uh, going through. So that's kind of kind of the play here. I mean, that's kind of what you want to do with this deck is build as good of a board you can. Make sure you have all your illusion monsters in the graveyard as negates and have a body up, possibly a Dragoon. But it's very rare that you're going to draw the branded stuff and this. I mean, it happens. But that's the, the main issue that I see, I see with this deck. And, um, okay, so two of these guys. Make sure you're running two of these. 
Um, this is a discard going first. You make your opponent uh, discard a card, and it it makes the, it makes your uh, illusion monsters live in the grave. Also, it acts as a a path to your OTK condition. So then you got this guy. Depending on what your hand looks like, sometimes you go for him. Sometimes you go for him. It just depends. This guy simply is OTK. Um, you fuse him with three materials, you win the game, typically. You win the game. Um, depending on what they have, um, as far as like the monster. But typically, you're gonna win the game. Okay, now let me go ahead and go into this, just to get this out of the way. Um, super poly targets. Um, this is pretty cut and dry. Mud Dragon, best super poly target. Pretty Plant Dragon Spellia. This is this kind of doubles as an actual boss monster for you. Garura, probably the second best. Uh, uh, Guilty Gear Freed. Um, this is SP Baron. Um, SP Baron Fusion. Um, Mirror Jade. That's good. Oh, not Mirror Jade. That's it for the uh, Super Polys. So we're playing four Super Poly targets, which usually covers the whole board. Um, now let's go into, you could also act, act this is where Brandon Chimera and, uh, Brandon Chimera, Chimera and Brandon kind of meld together off this one card right here. The, uh, Rembrum, this is typically what you go for first. It's an, a, a negate for an XZ summon monster or any extra deck monster. So that's really handy. Plus it gets your plays live, gets your stuff in hand. Um, just a really good card. <clears throat> And then more branded stuff, Mirror Jade. Um, it's your best branded monster as far as like um, power, win condition, stuff like that. Um, this one, you rarely find yourself going into this one, but sometimes you have to. And it depends on the state of your grave and the state of your banished pile. So it's, it's a way to get stuff back from the banished, you know. But typically, you're not seeing that many grind games right now, especially with this deck. Um, you're either OTK in or you're probably going to get OTK'd. Um, Albion. Albion the Branded Dragon. Um, this is your best starter as far as the branded cards go. Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. This is just an honorary branded card. Pretty much if you're playing branded, you're playing this. Um, it, it's, it's a monster that people have to deal with. And um, typically it just it changes the game in your favor for sure. Guardian Chimera at one. This card just sometimes if if it meets the conditions and you resolve it, uh, that's that's where they'll scoop because this is just very strong. You know, destroy non-targeting destroy. Uh, yeah, this one is. Let me make sure I can't remember for sure. Um, and if you destroy a card, yeah. So non-targeting destroy. Then Magnum the Reliever. So the weird thing about this one, one monster special summon from the extra deck, plus one monster in the hand. So it's not a super poly target, but it is um, Chimera Fusion uh, target. So you can activate this, quick effect. Um, if you're, I'm not running the polymerization side, but um, you can banish a fusion spell, then target one card on the field, one card on the field, destroy it. So that's pretty handy. Sometimes you need that. Also, it has a you can uh, draw a card by uh, putting one back in the deck. So yeah, I mean it's just it's not that great, but it's okay. It's it's pretty good. Typically, it can get get rid of something troublesome and get you some hand hand advantage. But it's usually not your your first line of play. It's usually your last resort. So yeah, I mean that's the deck profile. I'm not even gonna get into the side. I mean, the side decks are just so all over the place right now. It's all gonna depend on your locals. Uh, at a regional, I'm sure you'd do something different. But yeah, um, typical stuff, Lightning Storm, blah, blah, Thrust, you know, just the same old boring side deck that everybody plays um, that you kind of have to play. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.